Annie, Fernando started to talk a little bit about personally identifiable data. We also deal with, in some cases, the data that might be commercially sensitive. You know, as we think about not just the technology itself, but the data that's being fed through that, what are some of the ways in which DG is thinking about data governance and, and really making sure that we're kind of, you know, staying a step ahead, not just of meeting minimal standards, but of, of really kind of setting good practice? One of the things that we do at DG is because of our experience working directly with users of this, you know, whatever software tool we're building or um, whatever kind of policy, data policy um, that we're advising on, um, I think we have a lot of visibility into some of these um, real world risks and and what, um, you know, the real world consequences might be. Um, I think we also do a really good job um, at DG of convening the right stakeholders and asking the right questions in um, these kind of convening and and community meetings. Um, Fernando already touched on community as being important um, for just identifying any sort of innovation tool that we want to use. But for us at DG, you know, community is also really important on, you know, when it comes to rolling out a tool or developing a product a policy recommendation or, or anything of that matter. So um, we really try and focus on, um, you know, the downstream impacts, whether those are good or bad. Um, and I don't think that we shy away from them.